My friends, we have a problem in Africa. That problem is rising insecurity. Since 1997, researchers at the University of Sussex have monitored global trends in armed conflict. Their research clearly shows that the number of armed conflicts in Africa have grown sevenfold in 10 short years, from 2006 to 2017. Let's think about that. Sevenfold in a single decade. Why is this? We believe as oxygen is to fire, so are unemployed youth to insecurity. And there are a lot of unemployed youth on this continent. Unemployed youth like Sandra, who on a Saturday morning in March 2014, woke up excited at the prospects of getting a coveted job at the Nigerian Immigration Services. She kissed her daughter goodbye and left home, never to return. Sandra and around 15 other young Nigerians died that day, applying for a job. In the ensuing stampede that drew tens of thousands of people for just 5,000 open positions. In Nigeria alone, conservatively a wave of 20 million youth entering an oversaturated labor force in 20 years from 1991 to 2010 caused youth unemployment to skyrocket, triggering not one, not two, but three insurgencies. Today, with a median age of 18, half of Nigeria's population, more than 80 million people, approximately the population of Germany, the world's fourth largest economy, are under the age of 18 and will be entering the workforce in the next 20 years, from 2010 to 2030. My friends, if a wave of 20 million youth triggered Niger Delta militancy and Boko Haram, I ask you, what will four times that number do? People who often hear these statistics say, wow, this is a ticking time bomb. I think not. The bomb has already exploded.